Hello folks, I'm back in here again today to say hello. And I have another script wrote here. It says adult children of the male and female narcs. I know it would be hurtful to cut ties with the narc parent folks. I can relate to that. Uh, but the narc is not going to consider the feelings of the adult child the children are not allowed to have a voice or their own opinion because the narc wants to run your life in every way. It can cause the narc injury if the child thinks for themselves and tries to have their own lives. Narcs want to be in control of everything and everyone. The children are in the abuse pattern as well. Adult children's lives will be dictated by the narcissist. The adult child is not allowed to be successful around the narcissist. They're not allowed to be above the narcissist parent. Adult children will probably have to stay around the narc. So the narcissist can dictate everything they do. It's all about control, folks. Narcs are not capable of love. No, the narcissist cannot love their children either, folks. That's why the uh, children of narcissists get treated this way. Because they are not capable of love, loving these children. The way they're supposed to, they treat them like this as children and then bring them up that way. And uh, they're going to be gaslighted and abused from a little bitty child all the way up to their adults. And then once the child thinks that they're going to break free from the narcissist, guess what? The narcissist will try to get a firm grip on the child by being abusive in every way, shape, and form. And uh, be, probably become highly dangerous to that child. So they're not allowed to have a voice or think for themselves or anything, folks, because everything that that child does, even as an adult, has to be dictated by the narcissist. The narcissist don't want that child above them. Say the child goes out here and they get a real successful job, you know, doing something special and going to be making really good money, more than the narcissist made when they were working. That causes narcissistic injury to the narcissist and they do not want their child above them, folks. So they're going to try to do anything and everything to jerk this child down in ways that uh, to try to keep them from being successful. Um, and they're going to do everything they can to gaslight them and abuse them in different ways, even as an adult. And they do this when the children are small too, folks. So yeah, this is... a. Uh, very da dangerous for the children and their futures, you know, because living with the narcissist is dangerous. And I think that uh, children that are with adult, uh, with uh, narcissist parents should try to think about, uh, you know, breaking free from the relationship with their parents because it's not a good situation even if they have to move to another state to do so, away from the narcissist and break that pattern. Because children, just remember out here, if you're in this situation uh, and you stay around that narcissist, uh, male and female out here, uh, they are going to control you just like they did your parents. And you're going to be in danger of them narcissists every time you think about doing something to uh, help yourself or whatever. Because the children are abused as well, folks. 
And the children will have to get away from that parent too so they can have their own lives and live normal, you know. But if the child sticks around the narcissist, then they're still going to be stuck in the abuse pattern and they're going to have to abide by everything that the narcissist tells them to do, folks. Because if they don't, then just like us, they're going to be abused as well. And I'm just being honest with you folks. I know that seems cruel and everything, but I'm just being uh, uh, totally honest about it. Uh, these children will live a very limited life around the narcissist, even if they're grown. Because I have children that's with their narcissist now to this day, and they're grown. And they are being dictated by the narcissist because the narcissist draws them in after they're with them for so long to that abusive pattern. The children are so used to that pattern that, uh, that they stick around with that narcissistic parent uh, because that's the only life that they're used to but they don't realize that they're being abused either, folks. So, um, and maybe they don't understand the abuse of pattern either as well, folks, because nothing like that has ever been discussed with my children before, and they don't really know that much about it. And um, because my son, oldest boy was raised that way, he's become a full-blown psychopath himself. Uh, just to let you know that, folks, what how it affects children in every way. And I'm hoping that if there's any adult children out here listening to this video, that it'll help them and realize that they're not gonna be able to succeed around that narcissistic parent and the best thing to do would be to break ties with that narcissistic parent. I know because you're a normal person, you may be a normal person and you truly do have uh, love and empathy, you know, unlike the narcissistic parent because they're not capable of loving. Um, you, you genuinely love your parent, folks. I get that. But because they can't love you back, it's only going to hurt you in the long run by staying around them, folks. Because remember, they go around and around in a circle, folks, in that pattern. And that's all they can do. But uh, I wanted to get in here and let the adult children of narcissists know this. Uh, I know that you probably love your parent, but you can uh, love them from a distance and know that they have a personality disorder and uh, that you're not going to be able to function normally with them. So it's best to go ahead and try to cut ties with them and get out of that situation because it's not good for you in any way, shape, or form. And then after you get away from them, folks, it's going to take you a while to heal from this stuff. But you have to remember that your parent has got a personality disorder and that uh, you may have to seek counseling. You may have to do a lot of self-talk to yourself and um, undo all the emotional abuses that you went through with the narcissistic parent. Um, and just hang in there. It'll get better, folks. Uh, it takes time because a narcissist gets into your head and they throw all that emotional abuse out there and try to cut you down and tell you you're a bad person, even to the child, folks. Uh, and uh, so it's better if children try to break them ties and try to go on and succeed for themselves because if they, if they don't go on and do what they got to do, folks, the narcissist is just going to keep them in that same level, that same level of abuse. 
So I just wanted to get in here and share this script with you folks, and I hope it's very helpful. And I hope you guys have a blessed day and a nice day too. You got this. You're awesome, folks. Bye-bye.